Renting cards is a game changer for God's Unchained players. You need access to the best cards so you can be competitive and get those wins. Of course, your skill matters, but your collection matters too. The cards you have available are going to directly determine what decks you get to play. Almost nobody has enough money to buy all the cards, especially the strongest and most expensive cards. That's why renting is amazing. You have the ability to play with any card in the game, including trying stuff before you spend time and energy to save up and buy it. Rentals are also great for content creators because you can rent cards that you need to use to feature the best builds, the newest decks, so you don't have to own all the cards to make great content about the game. This was a big problem for me back in the early Axie days when I wanted to make videos featuring Axie Infinity Classic teams, but I didn't have the Axies and I had no money. The first service I'm aware of that makes renting possible in most Web3 games is Loot Rush. This is not a sponsored video, by the way. The reason I'm making this video is because as far as I know, this is the only way you can currently do it, and I do think it's important. Loot Rush lets you rent items in your favorite Web3 games. For me, that means renting cards and Gods Unchained. And their new Limitless wallet is a lot better than the old one. I did use their old wallet for a little while, but it was very limited. With the new wallet, I'm able to rent as many cards as I want. Right now I'm renting about a dozen cards and some of them would be very expensive to buy, but with this limitless wallet, all I have to do is pay the rental fees each day. So a couple bucks a day and I'm able to play with all of these cards that I otherwise wouldn't have access to. It's a really awesome thing that's greatly improved how much fun I can have playing the game. I don't feel so constrained by the cards that I do and don't own. So I wanted to share how you can set up your Limitless wallet. People have been asking me, so I figured let's put it all in one place, put it all in one video. So here is how you can set up your Limitless Loot Rush wallet to rent God's Unchained cards. Here we go. Step one, download the browser plugin. This was invite only for a while, but now it's available to everybody. So just go to the app store and download the Loot Rush Limitless wallet. It's the same as installing MetaMask or any other crypto wallet. You just install it as a plugin in your browser. Just be very careful and make sure to install the actual official app as there could eventually be scams where people would make fake plugins to try to scam you. So with any crypto wallet app, including the Limitless Loot Rush app, Make sure you're installing the correct one. Get that installed and then you're ready for step two. So here's the Loot Rush wallet. On the top, you've got the name and then you've got three dots that give you a menu. The menu has one option, log out. So we're not going to click on that, but that is right there. Below that, you've got your wallet address. If you click on the squares, it'll copy the address for you. You don't really need to copy and paste it anywhere, but it's just there if you do need it for some reason. Now, this is important. Make Loot Rush your default wallet. If you uncheck this, that's how you can use your MetaMask to do other stuff. You need to check this off so Loot Rush isn't your default when you're using other crypto wallets, and then turn this on when you're about to use the Loot Rush wallet. So just be aware of this. Uh, for most people, when they first use this app or they first use this plugin, the Number one thing that happens when they have any problems is that they need to change this to be on or off. And after you change it, you just got to refresh the tab and then it'll actually be active either as your default or no longer your default. So just make sure you refresh it. Below that, you've got this Ethereum mainnet option. I have not had to change this yet. You could go to Polygon or other options, depending on what game you're playing. For Gods Unchained, we just stay on Ethereum. Gods Unchained is on Immutable X, which is a layer two on Ethereum. So the main net Ethereum option has worked for me. And then other than that, it just has this little reminder when renting items, choose to send them to your Loot Rush wallet. And that's it. Step three is to send tokens to Loot Rush. So I'm going to show you how to do this using Token Trove. There's also other ways you can do it. I'm going to Token Trove, and this is where I usually go to buy Gods Unchained cards, as it happens. Not sponsored or anything, it's just the one I happen to use. And so, let's say I wanted to send some Gods tokens. I don't have too much right now, but let's say I wanted to send some to my Loot Rush wallet. I actually wouldn't send it to my wallet, I would just go to this page. So I go to the Loot Rush website, 
And then I go to the tokens page. So again, from the home screen of lootrush.com, I'm clicking on the tokens button right here. And as you can see, I've already got a little bit of tokens in here, but let's say I wanted to add more gods. Let's say I wanna get up to 50. Right now I got 39 gods. I'm gonna click on deposit. We're still on this tokens menu. So I'm gonna click on deposit. It might ask you to connect. So I'm gonna connect my wallet real quick. I'm using MetaMask. Click on it, click on connect. And I'm waiting a minute. I might need to change my thing. So let's take a look. So right now, Loot Rush is my default wallet. I actually need to turn that off. It's just like I talked about, because this isn't working. So I turn off the default wallet. I refresh the page. I click on deposit again once it loads. Now I'll be able to connect. I'm going to do it again. And this time, it is going to ask me to verify. So I'll do this. I'll double check that I'm signing a nonce. So just nothing happened in here. I'll sign it. Now we're good. So that's exactly like I was talking about. If you have any kind of bugs where nothing is, you know, something isn't loading, the first step is to go turn this on or off like I just did. So that's a great demonstration. I'm glad that happened. Now I can go to deposits. And finally, we're almost there. So I know it's a lot. If you're new to crypto, this is a lot. But honestly, if you're using Loot Rush, there's a good chance you've been doing crypto a little while. So hopefully this isn't too overwhelming. So all I got to do is select the token, which is gods, select the network, which has got to be immutable. And I'm going to choose 11. And I'm checking this box that says I won't be able to instantly withdraw them. So I'm sending these over. I won't get them back right away. I'm going to spend them on rentals. It shows me the USD value. It's a little bit less than two bucks. We're just doing a little, little uh, uh, thing here. And it's actually going to do it for me. Oh, so I don't have to use Token Trove. So it turns out I actually don't even have to use this. It's going to automatically do it for me. So here is the Immutable X box, the Immutable X transaction window. I'm just going to confirm it. Um, I think I'll just, I'll leave that as is because I'm glad I got to show you guys that one bug. I could re-record re this part to like not show you guys Token Trove, but I like how we had to fix the browser uh, options, so we'll just leave it as it is. Anyway, all that beside, the deposit is being processed, and I don't know if it's going to instantly show up, but it'll update soon, and I'll have 50 gods tokens. So that is how you can deposit some tokens into your account. Step four is to rent a card. We're almost there. So let's rent a card. So I'm going to the home page and then I'm clicking on Gods Unchained. It's going to show me some random cards, but we don't want a random card. We want to rent a Pyramid Warden. So I'm going to click on Pyramid Warden right here. So there's two options. There's an instant rental for 33 cents a day, or there's a cheaper one, but it's not instant. It's going to take about a day for them to send it to me. I will go ahead and I will do the instant choice. So if I click on it, it's going to say I don't have enough rental limit. So let's make sure we change our browser option and turn on the default wallet setting. Then I reset the page. Now when I click on this, it'll still say this, but we're not going to have a problem later. So don't worry about that. Let's just click on add to bag. I already have Pyramid Wardens. I own Pyramid Wardens, but I'm just using this as an example. I know a lot of people don't have Wardens. This is a great card to rent. And then some of y'all might be able to use this code. There's a code called NZ Fee Trial. So you can actually use this and get some free rentals. I'm not sure how long that's going to last, but I don't even have to spend any tokens. I'll just do a one-day rental. And then all I got to do is click I agree with the terms of service. Click Next. And then choose your Loot Rush wallet. If you use the regular wallet, then your limit will apply. So you must use your Loot Rush wallet to have the limitless rental experience. Then we click Next. And it will automatically send the card to your Loot Rush wallet. Now, there's only one more step that you might have to do. Because in order to actually play with the card... You can see I've got a bunch of cards rented here, and now this one is waiting delivery, so we'll get that soon. Um, but to actually play with the card, we have to make sure the account is connected to our Gods Unchained wallet. So the one actual, one other thing we actually have to do is go to the Gods Unchained website. All the links are in the description of the video, of course. 
and you're gonna go to your account page. So I'm gonna click on this top right menu and you're gonna go to manage wallets. You can see I've got a bunch of wallets listed here. You can add as many wallets as you want. And one of them, I believe it's this one, is my Loot Rush wallet. So all you have to do is use the Add Wallet button, click on it, and add your loot, your loot Rush wallet using this button. Make sure it's set as your default wallet, and when you go through this process, you'll be able to add it. I don't think it's gonna let me do this right now because the account has already been added. But if I did want to do it, I would just click on the connect button and then it would go through a couple more windows and then it would connect. So I don't want to break my account, so I'm not going to go through that. It's going to say not all steps completed. But if you just go through a couple more windows there using your Loot Rush wallet, you can add the wallet to this page. And that way your account will be connected, which means once you actually load up the game, God's Unchained... And if you're going to try to do a different game, there's probably a similar process for other games as well. Uh, but in this case, if I go to my collection, I will see the cards in there. So I'm renting, for example, Avatar of Magic. And if I look it up, you can see it is right here. It's a little bit covered up by my camera, but Avatar of Magic is in my account. It's in the Loot Rush wallet. I can't sell it. I can't send it out of the wallet, but I can play with it. And once I end my rental, the card will automatically be sent back. I really recommend that you set up the Loot Rush Limitless Wallet and start renting some cards to increase and enhance your gameplay experience. That's all I got for you this time. Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all next time. Flux signing out.